Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Florida Gators. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you what, you get shock city, especially when they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Gators are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. Number one, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Secondly, get your man on your hip after the shot, lock out, and get after those boards. Third, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Trying to go inside. Number 25 fakes the shot. Tries for two, and he scores it off the glass. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He launches the bomb. That was nice. And up. They still don't score. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Trying to feed inside. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Dumps it in. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. the outside got some room he shoots from outside some job of running his guy into the screen to get off that jay they work the perimeter they look to get it to the inside patience by the the offense is reset he got steal pressure got to the ball handler awesome ball shoot Touch for him, and he lost possession. Looking for a good shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Wow, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. He's going nowhere. Ball no, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The crowd really admires this young man. The people here appreciate what he brings to the table. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. That was a high 
The screen goes to the lane. from the key. Scorch the net. West is emotionally pumped up. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have success, you start to gain some confidence. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They work it around the perimeter. The frustration right there. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Looks at a three. He drained the bucket. Work it around the perimeter for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked out of the air. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure in the basketball. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brown. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Set that screen away. For two. Up, oh, easy one. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Georgia are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. The center gets the pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Great anticipation defensively. The point guard with the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He hacked him. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Got both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Ouch! Screen set hard on the defender. Working it around the perimeter. Foul charge. That right there is exactly what they expect from him, Dick. Yeah, and I say it all the time. It makes life much easier when you have a guy in your roster who can make these types of plays. Rucker goes to the line for the first time. He missed it. He gets the rebound. On the outside, the power forward takes the pass. 
Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There he is, strips the ball loose. For the bucket, the land. Spacing. And he'll kick it back outside. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Turns it over. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Off the rim and no good. Applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Hey, defenders must be confident when going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's still close, and it's very early, but there needs to be some sense of urgency on the favorites' bench tonight so this one doesn't get out of hand, guys. Thanks, Aaron. On the dribble, gives it up. On the inside. And now they'll bring it up. He goes for three. Way off target. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's go back and watch that basket again. The center is going crazy. Well, the running reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. The point guard takes the feed. On the outside, he pulls the trigger. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Leans in. Florida have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. The power forward gets the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. For two. Easy one. down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He unloads a three, makes the shot. Roll it back again, fellas. Great 
pressure. Great double team. Really explosive. Moving it around the perimeter. And working around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Can't get the shot to go. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He puts up the tray. Georgia are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. There's the trap. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. With the pair. Concentrate, got to concentrate on that free throw line. Second one is no good. He cleans the glass. The center has gone wild. Well, the rowdy reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. He shoots. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. There's a double team waiting there. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. Jam City, baby. That's a rib rocker. More, more. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. They work the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. With a deep shot from outside. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling on all cylinders right now. to get back to the action. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He attempts the trifecta. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. He intercepts it. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Takes away the pass. On the outside. Wide open for the shot. The turn of fadeaway jumper. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. He puts it in with contact and all. Go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. 
Look at that spacing. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Time to pick up the defense here now. From three-point range. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Florida are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the outside. Here's a double team. Way off target. In the paint. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Basket falls despite the contact. Inside. He throws it up from downtown. Oh, yes. Let us show you the replay on that one. <laughs> Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Perfectly executed. A high screen. Here we go on the break. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores it off the glass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Nice shot. From the top of the circle, he gets the bucket to fall. Here's another look at the play. Shot clock is dead. Right in the circle. That's good. At the half, the Gators are behind by seven. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Florida seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Dick, this has got upset written all over it. A team that's not supposed to win versus a team who's supposed to win. That means one thing. The lower-ranked team has nothing to lose. Looking for a good shot. Number 33 is receiving a lot of support from the fans. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. 
I strip him in a basketball. I got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I tell you, a good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Welch in the paint. Tries a three. He gets it to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. Controlling the ball. He puts up the three ball. He shows the sweet touch. The Gators trail by nine. He looks for the bomb. That's an ill-advised shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! He wants a three. He nails the bucket. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Georgia are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He's got to move the ball. From the top of the key, the Gators have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. right now out there. He looks for three. Makes it. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Gave it up. Intercepted. The fake. Steal. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I'll tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. I'll tell you, you got to be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. Up and inside. Sets the screen for his teammate. He strokes it. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. Misses the second. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Jump hook from the low post. 
I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Picks off the lazy pass. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, Mr. Nestle, that's a A couple of free ones. Makes the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon in the end. They work it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. He shoots from downtown. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He does the sweet fake shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Nick, what do you make of this crowd here tonight? Well, I think they're really a quiet crowd. I thought they'd be a lot more alive. I can't believe they're sitting on their hands. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's an 8-0 run. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Great play to take that to the basket. He puts it up, way off target. Looking for the foul. The kick out, and his shot block. He missed. Looking for contact. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Picks off the pass. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important that court play is. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He lets it fly. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. He goes to the line. Count it. They scored eight in a row. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Buried it. The Bulldogs lead by 11. There they come with a double team to stop it. From way outside. Off the rim and no good.
leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pre-game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. Thanks, Aaron. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Got okay. a nice screen. He puts it in with contact and all. have a tendency to recruit some athletically gifted players. They like to play a style of basketball that requires some gifted athletes. There was no doubt about that one. The Gators are behind by 11. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They'll work it around the arc with the fake. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Jumps in. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Looks at the three. Drains it. Gave it up. Him in the low block, but opted against it. Good fake. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. We're going to move it around the perimeter. They're working around the perimeter from downtown. Got it. Definitely worth another look, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Unloads. 
Sinks the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. Florida are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Picked out of the air. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He lets it go. Sinks it. Look at that space. He's got a nice shot fake. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. and no foul called either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a high screen. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw the foul. Georgia are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the outside. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. He goes to the line for the first time. Need to make that. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. It's the second shot. He hits the third shot. Working it around the perimeter. High post player flashing. Puts up the tray. Rims out. Puts it up looking for contact. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special arm, feeding the post. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Meaning. 
shoots from outside. Bounces off. Trying to draw some contact. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. He takes the shot off the baseline. Way off target. Count that as a personal foul. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Georgia have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. From right at the circle, they let him get into a rhythm. Jumped in front to take it away. He tries to knock down the three. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here they come now on a turnover. Kicks it out. He faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. He comes up empty. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. He bombs from outside. You bet. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it, of clock management here? Foul, and that stops the clock again. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. And, Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. He'll go to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second one is no good. They're not getting it done from the free throw line, I think. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Nine points is the difference now. A difference that can change in a heartbeat if you ain't careful, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. 
And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Hits the second shot. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Got the high pick top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. They will line him up. It's good. Hits the second. Up and inside. There's the screen up on top. Drains the shot. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. At the free throw line. Opportunity. First shot is no good. Gets the second. This is a very important possession. They got a score to stay alive. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. They're not giving him a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. This thing's going back to the drawing board, Dick. This wasn't supposed to happen. We didn't expect that they were going to lose this ball game, and I'm sure their fans and their coaching staff didn't expect it either. Uh, that has been shocked, too, but they really executed so well. The underdog really did all the things coaches talk about at coaching clinics. They talk about really putting a stop to the basketball, getting back defensively.